Hi everyone, this is Mike Troino from Allied Vision Technologies, National Sales Manager in the U.S. Uh, speaking to you today from the Vision Show in Boston in May 2010 and uh, really here to, to talk to you about the new products that we have and we've launched here at the show and it's been pretty exciting for us this year so far. Uh, right now we have four new, fam uh, four new cameras that we are launching here at the show, actually camera families. Uh, one being the Guppy Pro which is 1394B, the second being the Pike which is also uh, IEEE 1394B, and then the Manta series and the GX series which are both uh, gigabit ethernet. Um, some of the things that have been uh, designed and thought about when we launched the Guppy, Guppy Pro is that it is the smallest 1394B camera in the world that is housed. Um, it has a form factor of 29 by 29 by 29 millimeters and um, roughly about 60 grams in weight. It is, has all opto-isolated I.O., making it uh, very good for industrial applications, as well as a screwed-down 1394B connector, as you can note right here. Um, there's also plenty of onboard memory and other things, so that if you're taking images and capturing them and want to send them across the bus later, it's there, as well as uh, bare interpolation and 12-bit output information from the camera. Um, very good for industrial or scientific applications where you have a space constraint and you need to really uh, fit a camera into an application where you didn't maybe envision a camera in the past or you're replacing an older camera that uh, was analog at one time and there was no digital uh, camera available at this size before. Well, now we have it here in the Guppy Pro. Uh, coming on and staying maybe with the FireWire series just to keep it coherent, we have the Pike series <coughs> and um, the two new family members for the Pike are the 11 and 16 megapixel. So now that rounds out the Pike to be the most dynamic range as far as resolutions that are available, uh, starting out with the VGA sensors that are um, uh, run at 210 frames per second from Kodak, clean up through the 16 megapixel sensor that runs at three frames per second in a dual tap mode. Um, getting back to the Pike, one of the things that we did that is different than other designs for it is that it's available in both a dual and a single tap mode and is also daisy chainable. So the difference being that instead of having this camera available for non-microscopy applications, when you switch it to a single tap mode, you're able to put this into a dynamic range for uh, gain and exposure modes that will not show the dual tap, um, tap miss balance that you, you've noticed out of many other cameras in the past that have utilized these sensors. It's also available with available M mounts such as the M42 and the F mount for standard Nikon lenses. So <clears throat> after the Pike series we get into the Manta which is uh, meant to be our low cost gigabit ethernet series. Um, the Manta in general was designed as a low cost replacement for the GC series as well as meant to be competitive with newer technologies that are coming out um, and keep a good price performance ratio. The sensor range for it currently is VGA through 5 megapixels utilizing Sony CCD sensors and uh, one of the unique things that we are bringing to the Manta series that I have not noticed um, from uh, other products that we've brought out is that it will be available with power over ethernet allowing for one cable connection to bring both power and data to and from the camera. Uh, the Manta in general will have a 32 megabyte resend buffer, will be found in a variety of applications leading from traffic and outdoor imaging to packaging and other industrial areas where you might find um, similar cameras of this form factor which was made so popular by Sony back in the early 2000s. Moving on from the Manta, we get into the GX series, which is now our fastest and most powerful gigabit Ethernet camera that we manufacture, and in fact is the fastest and most powerful gigabit Ethernet camera available in the world. Uh, some of the things that were designed into the GX series that you might note here is some of the cooling fins and some of the, uh, the dual RJ connectors on the back of it. And one of the reasons that we did this is because it utilizes Kodak's uh, new series of sensors that are based on the 5.5 micron pixel technology. And these sensors are meant to be ran in quad tap mode in, in many variety of applications, but with 120 megabyte sustained uh, data rate from gigabit eth ethernet with a single port, you can't utilize these sensors in that application to get the full bandwidth from them. So we, we've teamed up with the link aggregate uh, possibilities from 
uh, standard networking protocol and built that into our SDK and into the firmware of this camera to allow you to be able to run this camera to sustain 240 megabytes per second. Um, now, some people might say, well, where is that really applicable? Well, when you want to run 12 bits at 17 frames per second of 8 megapixels of information, you're just not going to be able to do anything like that. And what we've found is that in the traffic markets, in outdoor imaging applications, in high-speed industrial applications such as packaging, bottle inspection, um, it's absolutely needed that you have these type of bandwidth and this is really making a push into areas where camera link cameras were quite popular in the past but now we have an opportunity to attack that from a gigabit ethernet technology. Thank you very much for your time today. I hope you learned something new about the products and please check us out on our website which is www.alliedivisiontech.com. Thank you.